Jared Poland Fronos Photo. Dot com and this is your Welcome to Football <laughs> Photo News Fix. This fix is brought to you by Squarespace. I've been using Squarespace for jaredpoland.com for well over 10 years. 10 years! Now there's a reason I've been using Squarespace for my own portfolio for that long, and it's because it's simple. You don't need to know any coding. You just drag, drop, click, boom, done. It's launched into the world. In fact, it took me less than five minutes to put up this gallery of poison photos onto my website and out into the world. To get your 14 day free trial, head on over to squarespace.com slash photo. If you decide that it's for you, use the code photo at checkout to get 10% off your first order. First up, Apple has announced the new MacBook Pro and guess what? It's the best one yet. Duh. Introducing the next generation Apple Silicon Mac Pros, the lightning fast M2 Pro and the extraordinarily, these are Apple words by the way, not mine, M2 Max, the most powerful and efficient chip ever in a pro laptop. Now Steven and I have been rocking the M1 Max MacBook Pros since they were announced. Steven uses his for video editing and I use mine for photos, Skittles. Boom, amongst other things, but I don't use it for porn. Right. I will say that a few years ago, I ditched my iMac in favor of having a laptop that I can take wherever I go. It's made life so much easier. I simply have a monitor, keyboard, and mouse, both at home and at work. And since these laptops are extremely fast, this has worked for me. The new MacBook Pro comes in two sizes, 14 and 16 inches. Now I tend to go with the 16 inch because I'm blind, but if you're always on the go and have better eyes than me, then a 14 inch might be a good solid option for you. Now in terms of specs, it's basically the best laptop ever made by Apple. It's the fastest, has the best display ever in a laptop, so on and so forth. Oh. And the 16 inch gets the longest battery life ever in a Mac. 22 hours, but not like 22 actual hours of usage, but 22 hours of video playback and 15 hours of wireless web browsing. Now what I can say is that the M1 Max laptop sipped battery as the fans pretty much never came on, even when you were exporting 4K or 8K video. Oh shit. The 14 inch laptop can be ordered as we speak starting at $19.99, with the 16 inch starting at $24.99 and maxing out at $6,499. This is where you can insert all of the Apple hating people in the comment section telling me how they could build a better PC laptop for half that price. Two hamburgers to french fries. Anyway, I love my 16 inch MacBook Pro and I look forward to getting my hands on this one to test it out. Next up, Sony has announced that they will release a 302.8 G Master lens in early 2024. No, for real, that's literally all they told us on a phone call. Hey Dan, can you, can you roll the footage of the, the phone call please hello Hi, it's, Greta uh, it's Greta Thunberg who obviously works for Sony PR now I have to make this quick I'm currently being arrested in Germany I'm being carried by four officers as we speak Sony is developing a 302.8 G master it will be released in 2024 Th that's it no one more thing go Eagles well, I guess we all now know the answer to how many German officers it takes to detain a Greta Thunberg. Three. Anyway, I've got some questions. Like, is a 302.8 actually needed anymore? Will it have a built-in 1.4 TC, making it a 420 millimeter f4? And what will it cost? Sony couldn't share any further information other than it will be out in early 2024. So I guess we'll all just have to wait and see. This honestly makes no sense. Oh yeah, Steven and I will we'll dive deeper into this Sony lens as well as some other Sony lenses on this week's Raw Talk podcast that comes out on Friday. Be sure to listen wherever you get your podcasts or head on over to fronosphoto.com slash podcast to download any episode from the past. And finally, Sony has officially announced a 20 to 70 millimeter F4G. Bang, bang, bang. Now I got my hands on this lens about a month ago and was able to test it out at the Philadelphia Museum of Art, as well as the playground with my niece and nephew. And yes, I only took pictures of my niece and nephew. I was there with permission. Never without my permission. Sony decided to go with wider than longer when making this lens. Instead of making a 24 to 105 f4, they went the other way and went with a 20 to 70 range instead. Now four millimeters may not seem like a lot to you, 
like this. Insert Jared has a small penis joke here. Maybe like this. But 20 millimeters is 10 degrees wider than 24 and 18 degrees wider than 28 millimeters. Well, what does that even mean? So you do gain quite a bit by going wider. Now, in my experience using this lens in the real world, the 20 to 70 is a solid range. This lens focused fast, the colors look good, the sharpness look good, the clarity look good, but I did notice a huge amount of vignetting and bowing at 20 millimeters when you turn off lens correction in the camera. Now, Sony isn't the only company to rely on in-camera lens correction at this point because you've got Nikon, you've got Canon, you've got Sony. I don't know about Fuji because they don't send me anything, but they're not the only ones to do it. It's honestly not that big of a deal at this point. But what I find to be a big deal is the price point for an F4. This is an $1,100 lens. Sigma makes a 24-70 to 2.8 art lens that is the same exact price. Sure, it's not as wide, but my motto continues to be 2.8 or better. Look, the 20 to 70 F4, it was a nice lens. It's gonna be good for stills. It's gonna be good for some video, but it doesn't have stabilization built in. When you turn on active stabilization, your 20 now becomes a 24 versus something like a 24 to 105 Sony that has OSS built in. You're gonna get a 24 with optical stabilization. I just don't know that it's worth 1100 bucks. If it came in a little less at $800, maybe that's something I could recommend. Now, would you spend this much money on an f4 lens let me know down below either way there you have it that's your photo news fix this time around to check out the last fix go ahead and click on the screen right here don't forget to like share comment and subscribe that's where i'm gonna leave it jared poland photo.com see ya